Hi, my name is Dee Robertson. I'm Summer Cox, and this is my mom. And um, I was extremely lost for many, many years. I was an alcoholic, uh, destined to kill myself, along with my husband, and was trying desperately to do that. Uh, lost my job of 22 years, and the pandemic hit, and I was homebound for over a year. I was reading God's Word during that time. I had accepted a challenge from my brother to read a chapter of the Lord's Word every day. And I actually began doing that in 2019. It was a struggle in the beginning. I soon began to read more than a chapter a day, just couldn't put it down. But things came to a head in August of this past year, on August the 12th. I really felt like God didn't hear my prayers. And I'm sorry. And so I called my daughter in great despair. I remember um, I had just finished my year long Bible reading uh, through the Chronological Bible. And I remember posting about it on Facebook that I had finished that. And I don't think that five minutes had passed before she called me crying, um, saying you know, that she didn't feel worthy, that, um, that, that God didn't hear her pray, and, and is she praying right, and is she saying the right things? And, and so we kind of talked through that about you know, how God loved her and how it didn't matter, you know, all the bad things that she'd done, you know, once she asked for forgiveness for that, that that was wiped away and it was a clean slate and she could start new and have that relationship with Christ. And so on that day, I accepted Christ back into my life and continued to read his word, listen to praise music that helped to build me up. I started coming back to Trinity on uh, August the 15th and enjoyed listening to Pastor Mills. Uh, he was preaching in Joshua, which ironically was exactly where I was in my own uh, Bible reading. I was in Joshua. And so that was more of a sign to me as well that God was definitely moving. Um, however, on April the 10th, uh, just previous to all of this happening, my husband had gotten sick and he was sick for about a week. Uh, unfortunately, uh, on April the 10th, we had to call an ambulance to take him to the hospital. Um, he had 12 holes in his stomach and bled out, lost seven pints of blood and nearly died. Uh, I do believe that that was God intervening um, to save his life, to save my life. I was there with her that night and um, for many, many years I had prayed uh, I've prayed for her, for the situation. I, I've always felt like I was on the outside looking in and, and I couldn't really have any influence in the situation. But I remember praying for an intervention, for a life change, for something um, to get the attention back to the Lord. And I was there with her that night and I don't know what was in God's plan uh, in that moment, um, but I was there with her and God, God ultimately used that um, to bring her where she is to this point today. And I just have to say God is so good because um, we have been alcohol free since that day and we had drank for over 20 years. So that was a major accomplishment. I've struggled with addiction most of my life. I was um, pretty much in an orphanages and foster homes as a child. My life was a little screwed up. and uh, But I'm so thankful today that I did find Jesus, or Jesus found me, we'll say, and put me back on the right path. And I was baptized on December the 12th, which was absolutely amazing and the most hugest blessing I could have asked for. And I just want to say I love Jesus so much and I am so thankful for my new life. She's so changed. I mean, to see someone go from uh, a hopelessness and despair and just gripped by the lies of the enemy to hope-filled and changed and a smile on her face, it's, it's just so amazing to see.